Lymphatic drainage of the lower limb. Lymph from the lower limb are drained by the afferent vessels which drains into the lymph nodes present in various parts of the lower limb. Most of the lymph from the lower limb drains into inguinal lymph nodes. The lymph nodes present in the lower limb are classified into two types. Number one, superficial lymph nodes. Number two, deep lymph nodes. The superficial lymph nodes includes superficial inguinal lymph nodes. The deep lymph nodes includes deep inguinal lymph nodes, popliteal lymph nodes, and anterior tibial lymph node. Superficial inguinal lymph node. It consists of two groups of lymph nodes and it is present in the superficial fascia of the thigh. It has a vertical group and a transverse group or horizontal group. The vertical group consists of four or five nodes and it is present near the terminal part of the great softness vein. So it is situated along the sides of the terminal part of great softness vein. Okay. It drains the skin and fascia of the lower limb except the gluteal region and the territory of the short softness vein. Horizontal group. It consists of two groups, lateral group and a medial group. The lateral group consists of two or three nodes, which is present below the lateral part of the inguinal ligament. It drains lymphatics from the upper part of the lateral side of the thigh, the flank back of the body below the umbilical line. Medial group. The medial group consists of two or three nodes and it drains lymphatics from the anterior abdominal wall below the line of umbilicus, that is the umbilical line, scrotum, Penis, including the profuse vulva, vagina below the level of hymen, perineum, anal canal below the pectinate line, and the superolateral part of the uterus. See this. All these superficial lymph nodes drains majority of the lower lip. Deep inguinal lymph nodes. They are present deep in the thigh near the medial margin of the femoral vein. It consists of four or five nodes. <coughs> One of the nodes is present in femoral canal and it is known as gland of Plockett or Rosenmuller. The deep inguinal lymph nodes drains the deep lymphatics of the lower limb accompanying the femoral vessels clitoris glans penis superficial inguinal lymph nodes popliteal lymph nodes so these are the areas which drains into the deep inguinal lymph nodes popliteal lymph nodes it consists of Two or three nodes in the popliteal fossa. It is present near the terminal part of the short softness vein. It drains the lymphatics from the territory of the short softness vein, which includes the back of the leg, the heel, and the lateral part of the foot or the lateral margin of the foot. Okay. 
It also drains lymphatics from the knee joint and the deep part of the leg. Anterior tibial lymph node. It is occasional. If it is present, it consists of a single node near the uppermost part of the anterior tibial artery. Okay. It drains the lymphatics from the anterior compartment of leg. So the entire lower limb, the lymphatics are drained by the superficial inguinal lymph nodes, deep inguinal lymph nodes, popliteal lymph nodes, and anterior tibial nodes. See the superficial inguinal lymph nodes, popliteal lymph nodes, anterior tibial lymph nodes. They either directly or indirectly drains into the deep inguinal lymph nodes. From the deep inguinal lymph nodes, the efferent channels finally drains into the external iliac lymph nodes. Applied anatomy. Most of the lymph vessels of the lower limb are blocked or often blocked by microfilarial parasites. This causes massive edema of the lower limb because the superficial tissue of the lower limb which is drained by the lymphatic channels or affected and this results in massive edema of the lower limb and this results in a condition called elephantiasis. Enlargement of lymph nodes. Okay. The enlargement of lymph nodes is usually caused by infections or abscess or any boils in the lower limb. 